friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hard brown cataract let us observe this surgery this is the main incision at 135 degree with a steel keratom this is a 2.8 mm incision and now we can see the patient is under topical anesthesia this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and this is an air bubble and now the anti-capsule is being stained with tripan blue dye when we apply the dye underneath an air bubble the staining is immediate we can wash the dye out after five seconds and see how beautiful staining has occurred this is a totally unedited recording of about 11 minutes and 30 seconds you can consider that you are watching a live surgery viscoelastic substance has been applied over the cornea and the antechamber has been filled up with this visco this is a side port on the right side of the main incision about two and a half clock or seven and now capsular axis is to be done the anterior capsule has been incised a large capsular tag has been raised we can see a white band coming from seven o'clock towards the center let us see how it behaves and yes I could separate the capsule from this fibrous band This is a hard cataract, so the axis should not be less than 5.5 millimeter. And now the white band will cause some problem unless we cut it right now. So I take a vana scissor and trim this fibrous band. And now hydro dissection. In hard cataracts, we cannot inject a lot of fluid. We must inject small amounts of fluid at multiple points and then we try to mobilize the nucleus the nucleus has been tapped some more pierces and now I try to mobilize the nucleus now I inject visco again and now is the time yes I'm going to rotate the nucleus bimanually this bimanual rotation causes less stress on junior now this is the feco needle the teeth is exposed a little more for this hard cataract this much exposure is enough and now the tip of the feco needle goes 
into the anterior chamber with its bevel down towards the lens, towards the cataractus lens. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And now in this case we are going to see classical submarine chop. This exposed teeth will be totally buried into the substance of the nucleus. Here it is. The teeth is buried into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the nucleus like a submarine towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator the chopper is used to chop and separate the two heminuclei. Rotate it 180 degree and applying opposite forces, the two heminuclei are separated completely. Now each heminucleus is again subdivided. The teeth goes again through the substance of the nucleus of the heminucleus and it is subdivided into two fragments like this. Now rotate, come back to the other heminucleus, go through the substance of the heminucleus and hold it very firmly and chop it. Thus the large nucleus has been divided into four large fragments and now let me tell you the settings FECO power that is ultrasonic energy used in this case is 85 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury the ultrasonic energy is delivered in continuous mode and the delivery of the ultrasonic energy is intermittent. As I occlude the TIFF then only I use the ultrasound. The machine being used is Faro's from Oatley, Switzerland. Now this is the last fragment. All the fragments are attacked from the apex. If necessary, the large fragments are subdivided into two smaller pieces. Yes, this is the uh, last fragment. The chopper in this case is being used to protect the posterior capsule. But the posterior capsule was far away. It was not trampolining. And now, this is 2% ASPMC again. There are two small nuclear bits and those two nuclear fragments are to be removed before I remove the cortex. And here it is. I use the Simco. By this time my assistant is getting ready with bimanual irrigation aspiration. There is very, very little cortex in this case from 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Only some sub incisional cortex is there. Bimanual irrigation aspiration is ready by this time. Irrigation is from the right side, aspiration from the left. And here it is. I remove the cortex from 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock and 11 o'clock. We can see some fibrosis at 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock. And this will be covered by the iris and this will not cause any problem in vision. The main incision has been enlarged by 0 0.1 millimeter because I'm going to use a B cartridge. 
and this is super four from upper semi associates this is a beautiful lens monofocal single piece aspheric intraocular lens it has got yellow tinge to take care of the ultraviolet rays moxie has been applied and now the sideboards are hydrated the side ports are closed by hydration of corneal stroma on either side of these step wounds and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and after this lavage the anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded so in this case we have seen submarine chaff very nicely. The anti-chamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.